Welcome to the Michigan Golfer Show. Join us each week as we explore the people, the places, and the events that shape our great game. Ken Devine with the Michigan Golfer here at the Novi Michigan Golf Show. Uh, it's snowing pretty good outside, but we should still get a good group here today. Asked me to talk about the history of the, uh, the Buick Open. Uh, since I'm the only guy here that remembers the first one in 1958, they, they selected me. Uh, and I'll never forget that event. Billy Casper won it at three under par. And if you compare that now to the scores coming in today, I think Tiger was 21 or 22 under. I believe 23 under is the record. Uh, and it's a combination of the equipment, uh, the ball, the club, and of course the golf course is in immaculate condition now. It was in no way in that shape back in, in 1958. There's been a couple of Michigan guys win it. Uh, uh, Mike Suchak was at uh, Oakland Hills at that time. Uh, he won it in 1960 and Davy Hill won it in 1963. And of course Davy was a great amateur and a great player out of Jackson, Michigan. The tournament has changed names many times in the course of its, uh, of its history and there were two years in there actually where there wasn't any sponsor and not enough money to fund the tournament and that was back in the early 70s. Wilf Holmanek won it in 1973 and it's W-I-L-F, everybody thinks of the Holmanek from Michigan but this was an old local club professional and he won it and there was no check for him that year so the uh, Buick stepped in back in the late 70s and I think he got his money, I know he got his money. But it's been a wonderful event. It's brought great, great uh, uh, name recognition to both Buick and, of course, to the Warwick Hills and Michigan. Uh, we get a championship at Oakland Hills every now and then, but this is a standard. It's been with us for 50 years, excusing the two years where there was no tournament. I've got a personal story on it, kind of cute. In my early days, in my younger life, uh, I was a chiropractor practicing here in Michigan, but a golf nut all my life. So I was at the Buick one day, back in the year Bill Collins won it in 1962 and sitting around talking to some of the pros which I knew Bill came and was going to withdraw and he told us at the table his back was so bad he couldn't he couldn't go on so uh, I told him I was a chiropractor and said let me give it give me a shot at your back and he drove all the way from uh, Flint down to my office here in Detroit and I adjusted him that night put some diathermy on him some heat and he went on and won the golf tournament so that's one I can remember. That's, that's part of my 50-year memories. Uh, the tournament was in serious trouble back in the 70s. Um, the, the two years there was no tournament, 
and a couple of local Michigan PGA club professionals got involved. Larry Mancour comes to mind now. Larry is still active, and uh, uh, if you ever get a chance to bump into Larry Mancour, he could tell you some real stories about the Buick. But it's been a great event. It was the first tournament, I believe it was the first tournament to ever have a named sponsor. Uh, Buick, of course, came in the very first year, and then Buick handled it for about two years. And then it changed names, and it changed names four or five times uh, until the Buick Goodwrench uh, Open played. And I, that was in 1978. And then from then on, it's been the Buick Open, and it's been a great relationship. You can see that beautiful product behind me. Uh, so the tournament's working for Buick, and Tiger, of course, is a big part of Buick's marketing. And it's just been a thrill watching this tournament grow. As I say, when they, when, when they put up a $50,000 purse, everybody thought the, the world had gone crazy. And now the winner gets a million dollars for certain tournaments. So golf's come a long way, Buick's come a long way, and Michigan golf has certainly come a long way. So it has been a great, great 50 years for Buick golf in Michigan. Golf has been good to Michigan. It's uh, one of the largest states in the country for rounds of golf played. Golf in northern Michigan is sensational, and for anybody uh, outside the, view, uh, the area here, come and visit Michigan Golf. We're proud of it. Uh, it's good to be a part of the show, and it's good to be a part of this golf network. And thank you very much. It's been a pleasure to be with you today, and uh, look to do it again soon. Thank you very much. My name is Scott Tuttle, and we are DS in the Flat Five. We are a jazz combo out of Saginaw Valley State University. Over here on tenor sax, we have Joe Kuzdal. On fives, we have Drew Parents. Over on bass guitar, we have Brandon Dyke. On drum set, we have Steve Nyquist. And on guitar, we have Dustin Mallory. Who's paying for this gig? We're doing it out of the kindness of our own hearts.